Hello everyone, I am the Atheist Gamer. Ever wonder if you can make your generic I Need Feminism video slightly more entertaining? Well you can! I've invented a drinking game. I call it I Need Feminism The Drinking Game. Hear how it works. You notice that feminists will repeat the exact same thing in every I Need Feminism video, so I made a list of these repeats. Here's the list. People don't understand what feminism is using the dictionary to justify feminism or just saying that feminism means equality. The wage gap argument, the one in five myth, or anything that is basically about how women are raped more than men, by at least double or more the amount. Men not being emotional enough, not enough women in certain areas, women being catcalled in the streets, female objectification, not understanding feminism, bonus points if he or she thinks feminism is a legit movement, or anyone wearing a feminist shirt is basically wanting women to be nothing more than mere slaves. Needing feminism to do mundane everyday activities, such as liking something or walking down the street. Bringing up third world problems that feminists won't do shit about. Dress codes. Women not being represented well enough in movies, video games, and etc. Needing a female president because she's a female. Using generic background music that is only good for elevator music. Insults. People asking what she was wearing as an excuse for the rapist. People don't understand consent. Never question the victim's actions, aka never the victim's fault, even if she's lying. Saying what feminism is not, and men can be feminists too. Now I'm going to respond to this girl right here. And I'm not going to bother to refute points that I already made in many of my videos, so I'm just going to leave a few links so that way we can save ourselves the trouble. Now, let's play the drinking game. And if you don't drink beer, then that's okay. You can get a glass of milk or juice. Hey everyone, and as you can tell by the title of this video, if- Generic background music. We're already off to a great start. It's going to be about feminism. And yes, that is a Christmas box because I don't have any other box to put that stuff in. I can't find anything. I'm sorry for my hair. It looks so bad. If you are not a feminist, you might as well just exit out of this video, unless you want to stay and learn a thing or two. And warning, there will be a lot of sass in this video. Oh fuck, trigger warnings, I forgot about that one. <laughs> uh, just, you know, take a beer for that one as well. So, I decided to make this because a lot of people don't understand what feminism is. Okay, first of all, let's go over the definition of feminism. Um, women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. That means that a feminist supports both women and men to have equal rights. I said it once before and I'll say it again. People judge a movement based solely on its actions and not its belief in equality. But mostly women because women won't win men. Women don't have as many rights as men. The definition of feminist means that men and women are equal. Now that is completely different from what a meninist, a meninist, that sounds so weird to say, is so different from a feminist. You know, feminist, both equal. But a menace only wants men to be equal. And it bothers me so much when girls wear a meninist shirt. Like, do what you want, I don't care. But really, you're not even supporting your gender? It's sad to see so many feminists not understand feminism. And what do you mean not bother to support your own gender? Should men become MRAs because it helps men? Well, to you, no, because MRAs are just whining man babies who have no legit concerns, right? What? Because meninist is basically making fun. I'm sorry if I'm saying this word wrong, because honestly, I don't know how to say it, even though this is a video about feminism. I know I should. Leave your comments. I don't care. That's another thing. I know there's going to be, mostly going to be a hate on this video because everyone has their own opinions. I have my opinion. This is a video about my opinion of feminism. Well, your opinion sucks ass and it needs to be criticized. And leave your comments. I don't care if they're hate. They don't bother me. But um, a menace is completely different from a feminist. They basically make fun of the idea of a feminist by using stereotypical things women should do, like stay in the kitchen and cook. Like, do you tell Gordon Ramsay that? Because he's one of the best chefs, and he's in the kitchen. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! Mammoths act this way in order to show hypocrisy of feminism. That is why they're acting this way, because feminists 
say things like, kill all men, it's just a joke, but do it the other way around, and it's sexism and hatred of women. Feminists like yourself won't even admit that you're being misandrous when you belittle problems that men face. And he's a guy. Also, women can't do this or that, which is, that just makes me furious. When people say women aren't athletes, yes, they are. Gabby Douglas, Serena Williams, Athena Gibson, Candace Parker, Alex Morgan, you could go on. There's a lot of female athletes. But men are suited better for sports and work due to their body. This is not sexism, this is the truth. If you pit a female fighter against a male fighter, chances are the male fighter is going to win due to their natural upper body strength. So no matter how some women try, they can never be faster than the world's fastest man or stronger than the world's strongest man. It's not to say that women cannot play sports, it's just that if women were to play against men, they would have an unfair handicap. And they're good. Also, we need feminism because guys can't cry without being told stop acting like a girl. What's that supposed to mean? Everybody cries, it's a natural thing. You don't tell babies that, and babies cry all the time. And don't try to fight with me how this is different, because babies are boys and girls. Female, male. Both. They both cry. It's a thing. The fuck? It's not the same. Babies cry because they have no other method to get the attention of parents. They can't speak words, or if they could, it would not be normal words. At most, it'd be simple gibberish. When adults cry, they cry due to events like having a family member die or if they see a very sad moment in a movie. But even then, it is important to know why they are crying. If they cry over something stupid like their favorite team lost, they are acting like big babies. And the longer you cry, the more of a child you seem. This applies to both men and women. So yes, grown men cry and nobody is telling them to hold their emotions, but it matters the context on why they are crying. Get over it. You're not acting like a woman, or a girl, or a teenage girl, or something you want to label that as, as basically being weak. Because women aren't weak, no matter how much you think we are. Also, the, the B word I don't really want to say because I don't like saying it. Whenever a woman is attacking, or stating her opinion, or doing something that somebody else doesn't necessarily like, she is called a B word. And if a guy is called that, that means he's weak. Oh, the horror of words! Why? Why do you have to label that? I came into this so unprepared when I was gonna say- I'm just ranting, I'm sorry. This is just so sexist. It, well, it's um, the worst thing a man can do is be weak, but the worst thing a woman can do is be strong. Is this wrong? Why can't women be like, just like men? Like, what is the big deal? So what if we're stronger than you or better than you? You guys have been doing it for years. Why can't we have a turn? Oh yeah, men have problems about strong, independent women. It's not like two women are trying to run for president. Oh wait. I don't know. Both women and men need feminism. Your examples on why we need feminism pretty much says otherwise. Because of the examples I just said. A man can't cry without being called a wimp or a girl. And women can't enjoy five seconds of glory without being pushed down. Also, another thing. Rape. Oh my gosh. No. Means. No. 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 Please, never do that again in your fucking life. Okay, is that through your brains? Because no means no. Yes means yes. That's all you need to know. And doing anything, like pushing away, saying no, saying it verbally, doing things that mean no, means no. That does not mean, have fun, yes, no. Especially if she's like, he or she is passed out. Oh, I'm sure you can prevent rape by saying swiper no swiping enough time to those who don't really care. Go on now. That sociopath will learn not to rape even though he doesn't care what consent is. I'm just saying she because this mostly happens to women. I'm sorry, but that is just one big lie. When it comes to forced penetration, men are just as raped as women. However, thanks to feminism, forced to penetrate doesn't count as rape. 
For more information, I suggest watching Teal Deer's videos. That's that's what happens. Men too, but mostly women. And I just ugh. no means no. No matter what you're wearing does not mean you're asking for. If you're walking down the street butt naked, that does not mean you're asking for it. That means you're walking down the street butt naked because you want to. That doesn't mean you're asking for it. Nothing means you're asking for it unless you give a yes. A understandably clear yes. And it is never, ever the victim's fault. Ever. You didn't want this to happen to you. They did. And if they try to make you feel guilty, you do not feel guilty because you said no plenty of times. It just can't get through their thick skull that you said no. Even though there are times where women will claim rape, even when the rape has never happened, or thanks to feminism, will twist on what is rape. Giving consent during sex, then revoking it after the sex, is not rape. Having regrets is not rape. Plus, there are times where the rape could have been prevented. And no, this is not victim blaming, this is victim questioning. The victim should hold some responsibility if she was acting careless. You would hold the victim responsible if he didn't lock the doors at night and he gotten robbed. So don't play this crap that the victim should never be questioned or hold some form of responsibility. So, if you're the victim, you are, you are fine my dears, you are okay. It is the person who rapes you, that is their fault. No, that is my little rant about rape because I... That's a whole another video, but I'm just gonna put it in there, just a piece of it. Feminism is not about females becoming superior. The hatred of men, menists out there, meninists, I cannot say that word. I don't care about that word, so I can't say. Exclusive of any sexes or genders, exclusive feminism is not feminism. Equality is feminism. It's Wrong. Egalitarianism is equality. Feminism in action is not. It's about how women are not getting enough respect in the first world while at the same time ignoring any form of legit problems men face. Any forms of criticism towards feminism will be ignored and be labeled as hate speech. It is not raising women above men. It's making them equal. It might seem like it because women basically don't have anything men have. They have a few things. But not as many as men. Oh my you mean like on how men need to go to war and not women? Or men face about 63% more prison time of women for the exact same crime? Or the amount of bias against men when it comes to divorce courts and child custody battles? Oh, you poor women who have to deal with cackling mean words on the internet! Oh my gosh, dress codes. Dress codes in school. You're telling me that girls can't wear shorts because it's hot outside? But guys can wear like tank tops that are less than two fingers apart like god forbid i have shoulders that anybody knows about shoulders what is so bad about your shoulders i doubt that your school is restrictive but here's a question what's wrong with a t-shirt and plus it all depends on your style just to let you know men and women clothing are different and a leg like it, it's hot outside and you don't want to be sweating to death down to your knees wear shorts i hate that you can't wear shorts. I mean, you can, just, I mean, I understand if the shorts are so short, they're like underwear, that's kind of not appropriate. Um, but like, down to your knee or fingertips, sometimes that's way too like, you know, it's too hot outside to just have that. And it's hard to explain. Oh, please don't tell me that your school doesn't contain air conditioning or at least a freaking fan, because mine does. Girls' clothes are made way differently than boy clothes. So all girls' clothes are basi basi basically skin tight. So it's going to be hot either way. We're just trying to make it less hot while having shorts. And really, really, you're going to you're gonna care more about a guy's education than a girl's because she's wearing shorts. Like, don't look at her legs. Have some self-control. And then we'd all be fine. Women parts. Oh my gosh, that's another thing. Why do you guys care about boobs? They are lumps of fat on our bodies to produce milk for our young children. What is so sexual about lumps? It's part of human nature for men to like boobs. Don't you understand that? I mean, unless you're into that kind of stuff. But I mean, what? Um, you know, just what I hope you get out of this video is that feminism is about equality 
and I, I probably went off track lots of times about stuff. But that's all this video is supposed to be about is what feminism is, is and what's the difference between that and a meninist. Still don't know how to say that. Meninists only care about men. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play the drinking game. Thanks for watching. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.